Today, the U.S. Senate is set to debate abortion rights ahead of that highly anticipated Supreme Court ruling. The majority leader says today's vote will shine like a floodlight to expose where every senator stands on this very important issue. Scott McFarlane reports from Capitol Hill. A week of protests, vigils, and student walkouts nationwide give way to a seminal debate today in the U.S. Senate. Why is something that is repeatedly referred to as settled law on the threshold of being swept away like so much dust? Senate Democrats are fighting for a bill already passed in the House that would protect abortion access nationwide. They need 60 votes to pass it, but there's no indication they'll get there. This radical pro-abortion legislation removes a range of common sense protections that exist in states across the country. And with the critical November midterms hanging in the balance, the decision may not be a strong driving force in elections. CBS News polling found if Roe versus Wade is overturned, it's likely to have no effect on nearly half of Democrats and three quarters of Republicans. There is a spillover into labor force participation. Yeah. But according to the nation's and first female Treasury Secretary, it could have a major effect on women in the workforce and their ability to boost earning potential through higher education. Eliminating the right of women to make decisions about when and whether to have children would have very damaging effects um, on the economy and would set women back decades. The Senate is poised to block this measure by the end of the day, and the Supreme Court is poised to rule by the end of next month. Tony? Got it, Scott. Thank you very much.